Our referees for this game, Paul and Sheldon, definitely very well experienced referees here. They are here all day, every day, folks. I get to say hi to them all the time. Great guys, and we'll see if they keep up the great performance here. And here, folks, we hear quarterfinal action at the Langley Event Center with very seismic yet loud crowd atmosphere. We have fan bases from both Terry Fox and the Lord Tweezmere Panthers here. will wait tip off and Aikens will win that one but it's tip forward quickly to the Panthers Clement give it over to the corner it's that back up top for Will Willow Willow in the paint there they're taking it hard and no fouls drawn and now the Panthers will go back the other way here comes Aikens Aikens the center with great ball handling there you don't really see that now comes Aikens hard to the rack he makes a move and what a finish India Aikens early off start what a start there is and now here comes Terry Fox Goes back up to the top of the key to Anna Marie Mish. Now there is a corner three, and that one rings out the rim, but a great long rebound for the Ravens, and they'll be able to set up here. There's a play call. As we await the play call to go in, there's Valoy. Valoy gives it right back off to Merton. Merton looking for space here. It's right now in the corner to Miss. Miss gets it back into the paint, and this time she'll draw a foul. That's the second attempt in the post there for Emily Sussex, and this time she'll draw contact. And she'll hit the line for two. A very fast-paced start here from both these teams. Port Coquitlam, Terry Fox, Ravens finishing number one in the Fraser North Division heading into this quarterfinals action. And in Surrey, Lord Squeezemere Panthers finishing number three in the Fraser South Division. Nonetheless, it's going to be a great quarterfinal action here. You hear the crowd atmosphere, and Sussex will knock down the first one. And she gets an unlucky bound there. Great rebound for Aikens as Aiken takes it up the court there. She quickly works it up and here they come. Here come the Panthers hard to the rack and an unlucky board there. But then great rebound, not goes to India. Aikens, Aikens for three and that one rings off the rim as well. Terry Fox will get this rebound, they'll come the other way. But great steal by the Panthers. They'll reset at the top here. There's another shot attempt there and now a great steal by the Panthers. And instead that'll be called for a reach in foul. That foul was drawn by number 10, Elisa Aikens. Aiken sisters starting this one together. Aliza, one year younger than her sister, India Aikens. Aliza in grade 11, India in grade 12. That one's quickly inbounded to Aliza Aikens. Aliza looking for space, she'll go for the drive, she'll stop up, she'll wait for support, and that's what she gets. She gets to her sister, India Aikens. Aikens with a step back, gets it back to her sister. She'll pull up, and she's sent back right away. Great rebound for the Panthers, for the Ravens as they head back up court. Here they come. Merton gives it off to the right wing side and just not handling that one. Number 11, Anna Marie Misich. Misich not getting that one there. Now India Aikens will inbound this one for the Panthers. And she gets it over to her sister, Eliza Aikens. Eliza working her way through. She tries to go for a cop pose over move. She stumbles. And we'll see who secures possession here. And Lord Tweedsmere will keep possession on this play. She'll inbound that one to her sister, India. India looking for support here. She's a one on one. She'll go for a stop off. Great crossover move. She'll cut in. What a spin move straight to the rack. And she's quickly sworn in the paint. And now the Ravens trying to get out of here. Terry Fox warmed up. And they'll draw a foul on this play, buying them a little bit of extra time to properly inbound the ball. It's uh, two defensive style tactics that are point opposite. Terry Fox, as you saw in the first two possessions, typically go for high front court pressure. Meanwhile, the Panthers 
are running zone defense. We'll see how this one works out here. And there's Merton. Merton quickly kicks it off for Clemens. Clemens gets the screen. She tries to cut outside. She's quickly double teamed. Now she's looking for support. And that one's tipped out of bounds quickly. No, it'll be a reach in foul, it seems. And Lauren Clemens draws the foul there for the Ravens. That's the first foul for Janine Pinza. That one goes into Walloy. Walloy looking for help, and that's what she gets. She gives it to Maria Miss. Miss looking in the post there. She gives it off to Merton. Merton in the corner. She doesn't cover that one. It goes back to Malloy. Malloy with the floater, and that one's just short. She grabs her own rebound. There she is. Now it goes back up again, and finally that one rolls in for the Ravens. That's Anna Marie, Maria Miss. First basket here, and now the Panthers looking for some outside resources. She puts it up, and that one's quickly tipped away by the Ravens, and it's quickly back up by the Ravens. Here she comes coming down the court. Great URSS. She'll roll it up and she'll get the and one call. Great fast break by Lauren Clemens finishing off the and one breakout and this game is already as fast paced as we expected folks. Just for an extra information there, 4A is the highest division of this tournament. It's the 71st annual but this is the first year where 4A is the highest division. 3A will now be the second highest division. As you can tell, talent and depth always growing in provincial basketball here. Warren Clemens lining up to complete the N1 play, and that's exactly what she the NBA is plotting a point play. And the Panthers taking control here with the 6-2 lead early on in the game. Pardon me, the Ravens. Now the Panthers try to bring it up here. It goes to Dinza. Dinza, nice crossover remote. She'll go for the step back. She's looking for support, and she gives it off for Aikens. Aikens cuts into the paint. What a Euro step. What a finish there. Number 11, India Aikens. That's her second of the game. That brings him back within two, and what a pace to start the game here. There's Merton across. She's looking for some support. She gets it off to Walloy. Walloy cuts in front, and it's almost stolen by Dinza, and this time it's tipped out of bounds here. And the Ravens will have 12 seconds on the shot clock. Still in now that one to Merton. Merton looking around. She's at the post, under 10 seconds left, and that one's almost stolen by Dinza again. It goes outside, she'll have to pull that one up, and that's exactly what she does, just short of the rim there, and that's brought down by Eliza Aikens. Eliza to her sister, India Aikens. India rolling up, she'll pull up, step back, three, and that one's just short of the rim there. India Aikens playing a strong fast break game. That's quickly put out to Larissa Clemens. Clemens will bring this up out. Clemens going for the drive, she'll go for the hot set, she'll put it right to the rack and inside and out. And the first rebound is hauled down by number 24 of the Panthers, Sonia Gill. And now India Aikens gets her pocket pick and the Ravens come back the other way. A possible two on one fast break. Laura Clemens has to come back to that one. She takes to the paint, she draws contact. Another shooting foul drawn by the Terry Fox Ravens. That's number six, Alicia Walloy. This will be Walloy's first trip to the line early in this game. And the Ravens going for an early substitution in, substituting in number three, Kiana Frost, and number 12, Taylor Matthews. The Ravens, a very young team here with a lot of 10th graders. Both of their subs are 10th graders as well. We'll see how that affects the game, but it shouldn't affect their game too much. They finished number one in the Fraser North Division, heading into the quarterfinals here. And Walloy, unlucky on the second break. India Aikens will bring that one down. She takes it up for the Panthers. India Aiken slows up, she'll cut to the right side, she slows up, she hands it up for Dinza, Dinza for three, and that one goes in, Dinza, sharp shooter from the corner there, she's able to get that one in from the Panthers, and the Panthers back into this game already, that one's quickly swung out to Kiana Frost, Frost, Frost for Walloy, Walloy gets it back into the paint for Frost, Frost will holy that one up, and she's quickly swarmed by Panthers, and Dinza will roll that one in for the Panthers, Dinza, under heavy pressure and a great steal once again. Here comes Cerise Merton. Merton just rolls that one in once again. Merton getting hard on the steals. This front court pressure by the Ravens helping them out. Now India Aikens looking for some support and she gets it off to Panit Dinza. Dinza out to Eliza Aikens. Eliza looking for space. Nice crossover move. She'll go for the Eurostep. Tries to draw contact. What a play by Eliza Aikens. The Aikens is going off early in the quarter. Eliza Aikens, number 10, one year younger than her sister. She's in grade 11. And that looks like a 12th grader move. She drew the contact, great Eurostep move. And the Lord Swedenborg Panthers will sub off number one, Panit Dinza, and coming on is number two, Anna Bodner. Elisa to complete the three point play here.
And she can't get that one to go. And that one's quickly hauled in by the Panthers. And back up for the Ravens is number six, Alicia Laloy. Laloy will get that ball back now. It goes across to Frost. Frost in the corner. It's played into the post. What a move! And a high arcing shot off the glass and in. That's number 10, Emily Sussex. India Aikens will take this one in. She quickly hands it off to Taya Suttle. 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 In the pace there, what a big body move, and she gets that one in. Number 24, Sonia Gale finishing off that one. And the Ravens will come back up court here. Burton across for Frost. Frost in the post for Sussex. Sussex is outside, there's a three, and that one's just short. Long rebound, it's up for grabs, and it's held in by the Ravens. Ravens reset the shot clock with that rebound that goes in. What a pass to the corner, and it's quickly picked off. A little bit of a miscommunication there. Now Aliza Akins will try to work this one up for the Panthers. Aliza Akins quickly double teamed, and that one's tipped out of bounds by the Ravens. The Terry Fox Ravens going for a very aggressive front court pressure defense here. It seems to be working. It's two up high, so the point and shooting guard up high, and the timeout will be called here by the Ravens. Score is 11 to 11 in what has been a very exciting opening sequence, folks. This first time out is brought to you by Tourism Langley. Drop on by and see the great sights the city of Langley has to offer. And a great venue in the city of Langley here at the Langley Event Center. What an opening sequence there in this Quad A quarterfinal. And folks, I have to emphasize this isn't a season, this is a tournament. So it's win or go home here and both teams want to compete to be the best as you can see. The Aiken sister, both India and Elisa Aikens, putting up points. And Panit Dinza, running point and combo shooting guard for the Panthers, keeping their offense rolling. But a big break for the Terry Fox Ravens, just as we thought. The Panthers are going to run away with this one. It's great front court pressure from Lauren Clements, number one, and number five, Karis Merton. And now this will be an interesting combo. Both teams with very different defensive strategies here. We'll see how that goes on going forward. Bodner now subbed on for the Panthers. Bodner gets that one to India Aikens. India looking for help here. She gets it back to Bodner. Bodner for three, and that one just rolls in and out. Unlucky break there on that shot. And now here come the Ravens. Harris Merton. Merton kicks it out to the corner. Now there's a fake three pointer. What a move. She kicks it quick out to Reyes. Reyes in the corner for three again. And these two trying to go for a gun slinging team shot here. Just not working out. Now India Aikens will head back the other way. Here come the Panthers. Aikens looking for space. She finds it. She rolls it up at the rim. She draws contact. She'll go to the line for a two. What a play there by the Panthers to spread the backcourt defense of the Ravens. Opening up that gap there. She'll head to the line once again. She missed her first free throw, which was an N1 play there. Now summing in for the Ravens. Number 11, Anna Marie missed. She'll come back into this game. Aikens will knock down the first one. And she'll knock down the second. She was confident on that one. She rolled away right away as soon as that one was off her head. Now here comes Karen Smerton. Merton looking for a play there. She calls the play. She goes trying to go in against Eliza Atkins. Atkins well on her. It goes up to Alicia Woolley. That one's quickly kicked out, and here comes. Taylor Matthews, Matthews in the post, great pass, and she's fouled on the shot there. We'll see what the call is, and that'll be contact on the shooting motion there, so the Ravens will head to the line again. This is the first trip for Anna Marie Misich. Misich making her first trip to the line. She's in for number 10, Emily Sussex. And that one hits. And she hits the second one. Akins gets that one in to Anna Bodner. Bodner quickly sworn to get it back to India. Akins, Akins with a little bit of space now. She'll stop up and the Panthers will set themselves here. 
Bondi goes for a cross, it goes to Eliza Aikens now. Eliza looking for space here. Still trying to go across, it goes to Bodner. Bodner isolating the corner, so she tries to find some space. Going through the inside pass. That one's cut off once again by the Ravens, and the Ravens have a chance to take the lead here. Here they come. Alicia Willoy, she'll set up from the top of the key. It quickly goes off to Merton. Merton on the drive, she'll kick it out, and there goes to Malloy. Malloy with the pump fake, she'll go for the drive. Great Euro step, she'll roll it up at the rim, and another great Euro step drive by the Ravens. It seems these two are a spitting image of each other. That one quickly goes out to Eliza Aikens. Aikens now up for India. India will stop that one up. She'll go in, she'll go for a spin move, and she will get called for traveling, not calling contact. And stubbing back in for the Panthers. Number one, Meet Dinza. Now the Panthers going for tough front court pressure here. We'll see how this one turns out. That one's quickly inbounded. It's moved up quickly to Lauren Clemens. Clemens will run this one off the court. She goes through a year step. She takes it to the rack and what a finish once again. The individual fast court breakouts once again working. Now Denzel will be cut off. She'll have to get it in. So she gets it to India. Aikens. Aikens almost cut off there. Another forced turnover by the Raven. She puts it up and back to back points right there. That's Alicia Willoy finishing off that fast break off the steal. And now the Panthers will come back another way. Willoy playing very aggressive here. Support. She gets it over. That's Sonia Gill. Gill will get it back up to India Aikens. Aikens taking it hard there. She switches it up right away. And the Panthers trying to attack here. Now goes to Aliza Aikens. Aikens will go for the drive. She'll roll that one up. And what a great individual move to get it over the power forward there. Now back come the Ravens. Lauren Clemens running this one up. She goes for the cut. She's heavily guarded by Aliza Aikens. That one goes out to Merton. Merton will go for the drive. Hit the floater. And that one's just short. Ravens tip that one back. Now here's a three. And that one just about went in. It's off the front of the rim. Panit Dinza gets her pass, cuts off, and back come the Ravens. And she just can't handle that one. Great play by Anna Maria Misich to try to get that one going. Minute 55 left in this first quarter. And boy, is it fast-paced action. That one goes back to India. Aikens, Aikens. Heavily guarded by the tight front court pressure of the Ravens. Now it goes to Elisa Aikens. Aikens will stop up. She swings it right for Dinza. Dinza in the post. And that one just about to get stolen again. Goes back to Panit Dinza. Dinza will have to reset here. She slices in. She's trying to go in. Slides it down to the post. And there's a great post move. And that one's just too hard to handle there. And now back come the Ravens. Here comes Lauren Clemens. Clemens will slow up. She'll quickly give it off to Anna Maria Misch. And that one's tipped out of bounds. Now stepping back in for the Panthers, number 12, Paige Young. Panthers trailing this one by four. Ravens lead 19 to 15. They have possession on this ball here. It's quickly inbounded to Sussex. Sussex quickly outside, and there's a jumper that just about went in. But Elisa Sussex will, pardon me, Elisa Aikens will run down that one. She gives it off to her sister there. Back to Elisa. Elisa for three, and pass is that one. The Aikens sisters working well once again. Now the Ravens will take this one back in. There goes to Lauren Clemens. Clemens, great Euro step. She'll take it right to the rack, and she's there keeping the Ravens lead up. That one's inbounded to Eliza. Eliza back to India Aikens. India looking for some space here. She does find some space. She's quickly cornered. Great spin move. She'll put that one up. And that one's just off. Offensive board possibility here for the Panthers. And no, that's number 24, Sonia Gill on the ball there. Sonia Gill, six foot one center, and she's only in grade 10, folks. Stepping in for the Ravens now, following the three throws. Number three, Kiana Frost will head back onto the court. And she's coming on for number 10, Emily Sussex. Well under a minute left in this first quarter, and boy, is it a fast-paced quarter. And she'll knock down the first one. Gill once again. 
and she's off on the second one, temporary rebound, great rebound by the Ravens, and they'll take it back up the court quickly. Here they come, there's a long pass, and that one just eludes Karis Merton. Merton, not too happy with that pass from Frost. Nonetheless, the Panthers will have a chance to go back to back here. It's quickly inbounded to India Akins. India calls for Dinza, Dinza. We'll get the screen there. She tries to roll it off, and that one's picked up by Frost. Frost will have to reset this one. 30 seconds left into the quarter. Here comes Karis Merton. Merton cuts to the basket. She'll take it all on her own. She'll hoist that one up, and she'll draw contact on the play there. Number 12 for the Panthers, Paige Young. This will be her first foul of the game. She did set her feet for a screen, but she was inside the key, so it was counted as a blocking foul. Now subbing on for her, number 13. Taya Suttle. Burton lining up at the free throw line here. Two important packets. Buckets just before the quarter ends, and she misses the first one. Burton to get the second, and that's exactly what she does there. The Panthers will have the full shot clock here. Here goes Benit Denza. Denza will roll that one down. She'll grab control of that one. She quickly sends it at the top of the paint. Here come the Panthers. Oh, what a move. What a Euro step there. Number 13. Taya Suttle. Great move. And now seven on the clock here. Let's see what the Ravens can do. There goes the Clemens. Clemens looking at the clock. She'll quickly kick it out. It's one more for Frost. Frost quickly double team. It goes up at the buzzer. And that one's just short there by the Ravens. And wow. What a fast-paced quarter here at the Quad A Division for the 71st Annual 2020 BC Secondary School Championships here at the Langley Event Center. And wow, is this basketball game taking off. What plays given to each other for the Panthers. Panthers bust with India and Aliza Atkins. And they are not giving up there. India Akins with two three-pointers in that first corner. Aliza Akins with a three-pointer herself. India Akins in her graduating year Grade 12, six feet tall. She was able to penetrate the ball well on the drive. And that backcourt offense there, and that backcourt offense, a one, two, and three position, Panit Dinza, India, and Aliza Akins. It seems to be the go-to for the Panthers, and it seems to be working well. They only trail here by one after trailing by four earlier in the game. And meanwhile, for the Ravens, Lauren Clemens taking it hard in the post there. And the Ravens have a lot of 10th graders over here. 10 10th graders, and of those 10th graders, four of them are starters for the Ravens, so it's definitely a development for them heading into this tournament. And both teams opting to stay with their starters. Weasmere Panthers on defense here. The Ravens will walk this one out to start the quarter. That's quickly kicked out to Malloy. Malloy up to the key to Maria Mish. Mish will load and fire, and that one's just sitting out. There's a chance for an offensive rebound, and there it is. Now here comes Clemens. Clemens rolls to the rim, and she can't finish that one. And a quick, fast, great pass to Lisa Aikens. Aikens. Quickly swarmed. She didn't see Sonia up in the front court. Now goes back to Aliza Aikens. Aikens looking to reset. She gives it to her sister, India. India with a little bit of space. She'll fake the shot. Now she's isolated there. India looking for help. She gets it into the post there. And what a move to the rim. And a great bucket there by number 24, Sonia Gill. And the Ravens will try to come back here. Bringing up the ball. Merton. Merton looking for help. And she gets it from Rhea Mish. Mish looking, and she gets it off to Leloy. Leloy fakes the shot, she'll drive, it gets it out to Merton. Merton for three, and that one just is off as well. Panthers trying to get that rebound, and it's almost kept in by the Panthers. But the Ravens will retain possession here. They'll have a chance to counterattack here. There's off ball screen set, it goes back to the top of the key. She thought about it, Malloy quickly out. It goes to Merton. Merton drives through the key. She'll try to pull up. Then she kicks it out. There's an open three there. And that one's off the back of the rim. And Laura Clemens brings down the third straight offensive board. Now she'll put it up. And that one's off as well. And she's fighting for the offensive board once again. This time India Aiken says enough is enough. And she'll bring it up quickly. And that's a hard pass over to Anna Bodner. But Bodner 
just not there in time. And yeah, Aikens passed a little bit short, trying to get that fast break going for the Panthers. And it seems the atmosphere is translating to the court, folks, here at the Langley Event Center in the center court here. Bringing up the ball, Alicia Walloy. Walloy looking for some support here. She's quickly isolated. She's trying to get it. And Alicia Aikens, even though her hands were up, she leaned in, and so the referee will call a push on her drawing contact. The Ravens will have 14 seconds on the shot clock here. And that one's inbound to Malloy, back to Merton. Now to Malloy, Malloy out to Clemens, Clemens for three, and that one just about goes in as well. Great rebound by the Ravens, she's looking for help. She gets it out to Merton, Merton will go for the drive, she kicks it out once again, she's thinking about the three, she fakes it, she goes in, and just about got a lucky roll, but India Aikens will grab her second straight defensive board and she'll hit up this one. She gets it up, and there's an open three once again. There's a three-point shot, and that one's off once again, and Laura Clemens will hold that one down for the Ravens, and then here she comes. Clemens quickly kicks it outside to Maria Mish. Mish tries to get it back inside for Clemens. Clemens finds an open corner. She'll load, she'll fire, and that one's off the inside of the board as well. And arguing that file, is number two for the Panthers, Anna Bodner. She drew contact with Lauren Clements there. And both teams on their last two possessions, both, both went for three-pointers. And it seems it was an aggressive off-ball foul there, so it'll be two shots for Alicia Walloy. Walloy at the line for the second time again. She missed her first one on the first attempt. And that one will roll in for one of two on this attempt here. And she's off on the second one. So she was fouled in shooting motion from the three-point line. So now she has a chance to at least get two here. And she's short on that one there, and there's a, oh no, there's a mix-up by the Panthers, and they try to make this a three-point play, and no mix-up on that one. She gets that off to India Aikens. Aikens will run this off the court quickly. Aikens looking for support. She gets it off to her sister, Eliza. Eliza quickly doubles up. She gets it off, and Bedner looking for some space. She'll fake it. She'll give it off for India. India looking for space and central load and fire, and that one just about rolls in. Great box out by the Ravens as they bring it back up the court. Now here's Karis Merton. Merton. She hands it off quickly to Anna Maria Merce. Merce in the paint. She rolls that one up. And great defense by Sonia Gill as the Panthers come back the other way. India Aikens throws it up. Great pass. She'll stop. She'll load. And number two, Anna Bodner getting on the board for her first time in this game here. Now here comes Merton. Merton's across for Walloy. Walloy hits Sussex in the corner. Sussex looking for some help. She's now trapped. She's on her pivot foot. She can't dribble anymore. She's looking. And she tries to get it off in the corner. Now she'll try to recover here. And we'll see who the possession goes for on this play. And Panit Dinza will sub in now for Anna Bodner. A timeout will be called by the Ravens. Ravens now trailing by two, but nonetheless, it's only a one possession game here. One layup can tie this up, or if you're the Panthers, one layup, one shot inside can extend this lead. It's definitely a very interesting aspect here going forward. And wow, once again, electrifying opening quarter action. Both teams going back and forth, but defensively speaking, the transition defense has been much stronger up until that basket by Anna Bodner on a great assist from India Aikens. Aikens held down a rebound there. She's got four assists on the game, and three of those assists came to her sister with Eliza Aikens. And we'll see how the Aikens sister combo going forward it definitely has been a big aspect to the Panthers game. And the timeout will be concluded as the Panthers are looking to extend this lead here. Panthers with possession. Ravens lining up for tight front court pressure there. 
Aliza looking for support. She gets it off for Dinza, and Dinza gets that one, and she's heavily guarded. She avoids a double team, almost picked off, and India will keep that one. India will think about the three. She'll stop off. She gives it up for Dinza. Dinza trying to find her way in the court there. She gives it up for Aliza Akins. Aliza will stop. She'll hop for a three, and that one hits the inside of the rim, and the Ravens will pull that one there. Here comes Karis. Merton, Merton looking for support here. She'll set up, and the Ravens will run their rotation. Here it goes to Walloy. Walloy at the top now. She'll go for their crossover move. She'll hand it off for Maria Mish. Mish back at the top of the key. It goes back to Merton. Merton thinking. It goes to Laura Clements. Clements for three. And that one's off again. And back comes Aliza Aiken. Aiken looking for space here. She's going to go for a drive. She's going to fake the pass. She's going to go up. She draws contact. And no foul called. India fighting for the rebound. And that's exactly what she does. Instead, possession seemingly will go to the Ravens. And subbing in for the Ravens. Back into the game here. Number three, Deanna Frost. She'll be subbing in for number 11. And Maria Misic. And Alicia Walloy will bring this one up here. Combo guard at the one and two. Walloy will get that off for Frost. Frost sees some space. She hands it off for Clemens. Clemens will take it hard to the rack. And that one just off. Ball is up for grabs. Quickly rebounded by the Tw Tweezer and Panthers. And back they come. Here comes Denza. Denza slowing up the play here. Great Eurostep move to find some space. And now Aliza Akins. Akins will cut in. She'll cut it out outside. And now she cuts in. And she draws contact on the play. That's number 13. Taya Subtle. Subtle drawing contact on that play there. Lining up for her first shot. She knocks that one down. Subtle, waiting. And that one bounces off the back rim. It's quickly hauled in and back come the Ravens. Ravens, here comes Merton. Merton goes for a spin move, tries to kick, kick it out. And now Panit Dinza, 1v1, we'll see what she does. She'll pull up for a trailer coming in. That's India Aikens, Aikens, great pump fake. She can't get that one. Now she gets the offensive board, and that's really pushed out of the way, and the Panthers will end up with that possession there, and they'll secure that one. They escape a two-on-one fast break by the Panthers. And uh, multiple timeout calls by head coach Mike Mitchell. Mike. Not too happy with the scoreboard keepers on that one. Nonetheless, he gets his timeout. He doesn't have any more timeouts left in this first half. This timeout is brought to you by Varsity Levers with Howard Samura. Get the best coverage on and off the court with Varsity Letters with post-game updates and more for great web articles on provincial and university high school. Very interesting sequence heading out through this second quarter. And the Panthers only leading by three. And when we saw some fast transitions in the first quarter and early in the second quarter, it definitely slowed down a lot more where the Ravens were attacking the rim. Not as much anymore. Their last three possessions prior to Laura Clemens' attempt to lay up there. Last three, two of those possessions were three-point attempts. And the same thing goes for the Panthers there. Really slowing down on those fast breaks as both teams are securing the neutral zone of the court. We'll see how this one works going forward. 5.23 left in the second quarter. Both teams out of timeout. It goes out to Subtle. Subtle quickly kicks it out. It goes to Dinza. Dinza will load and fire. And that one's off the back room there. There's an extra bounce. And it'll bounce out of bounds there. Not something you really see in secondary school championships, but it seems Coach Mike Mitchell is giving the Panthers a green light to shoot from three. Now the Ravens will inbound this one and try to get the momentum going. Now trailing by three points at the halfway marker of this quarter. Willoy will run this one up for the Ravens. 
The line looking, she quickly gets that out from Merton. Merton quickly double teamed by the Aiken sister. Now she tries to find some space, she gives it to Frost. Back to Walloy, Walloy looking, so she gives it back to Merton. Merton will have to line up here, under 10 seconds left. Merton gets the ball, she'll load and fire, and that one's off the front of the rim. There's a great rebound there, she draws contact on her way in. And that'll be two shots for number 10, Emily Sussex. Great offensive board there, she tries to finish on that long rebound. Sussex, second attempt at the line here. She went one for two on her first attempt. We'll see how she does. And she knocks down the first one. Sussex at the line. She'll knock down the second. Now going two for two on that attempt. She's three of four today. And the Panthers will go for Smallville here. Number two, Anna Bodner will sub in for number 24, Sonia Gill. And that one's quickly into Dinza. Dinza quickly out to Lisa Akins. Akins out to Bodner. Bodner will load and fire. And that one's just off the front of the rim. And now Merton gets a long rebound. And the Panthers, the Ravens head back the other way. Merton will slow down the play. She'll set it up. She gets it off for Lauren Clement. Clement inside the paint for Sussex. Sussex will put that up. And in number 10, Emily Sussex proving why she is a post player. And that one quickly goes out to Taya Suttle. Suttle will get that off for Dinza. Dinza will load and fire. And that one rolls in and out again. And now the Ravens will come back the other way. Clements will bring up the ball here. Clements waiting. She quickly hands it back. That goes to Frost. Frost looking for space. So she quickly gets it off. For Willoy. Willoy looking, looking. She gets it off for Merton. Merton trying to drive inside. Now she cuts in and the ball bounces off her foot. And now India Akins will touch out their way. India Akins will go all the way to the paint. She draws Cantuck on the foul. Frost not too happy about that one. Nonetheless, India Akins will head to the line for the third time so far. Now Kiana Frost will be subbed out for number 11. Anna Maria Misic, it seems those two consistently sub out as well, rotating their positional play at power forward and center. And Akins will knock down her first one. That'll tie the game back up. Akins gets a lucky roll off the rim and that'll give the Panthers a one point lead. Ravens calling this one up. Merton will set up the play here. Merton hands it off for Taylor Matthews. Matthews in the paint for Sussex, and Sussex rolls through. And the coach realizing she's got the hot hand, and Sussex taking advantage of having more space in that paint ever since the Panthers thumbs out Sonia Donza. And India Aikens quickly swatted back, and now quickly goes up to Merton. Merton pits that one up, and that one's up and out of there. Dinza trying to... Haul down the rebound, she quickly fights the ball out, and now she has a couple of seconds left to get the ball up court. Eliza Akins will bring it up. She kicks it out, now she loads up and fires, and that one rolls in and out once again. India Akins with a great rebound. She fights her way through and is quickly sent back again. Lauren Clemens calling for a foul. It's not gonna go her way. Nonetheless, the Ravens get the ball, and they're back the other way here. Here comes Maria Mitch. Mitic. Gets it in for Sussex. Sussex, great move. She just can't finish that one. Now she grabs her own board and it's quickly stolen by Dinza. Stolen back by the Ravens. Merton to Sussex. Sussex with space and she'll finish that one as well. And pardon me, folks. There was a little bit of a scoreboard error. Now this will be the last timeout of the half for the Panthers. And a much needed half at that. Much needed timeout at that. But one thing now one thing led to another. Merton and Willoy switching at the one and two, so the point guard and shooting guard. And another player that's now finding more space that didn't have a lot of space earlier in the game is now Emily Sussex. Sussex coming in this game, playing the center power forward position on the five and four position. She comes in 10th grader, and she has four baskets in just that sequence alone. She finished off with going two for two at the free throw line and she had three layups on the drive as well. Sussex proving she is a brute to deal with in the paint. Nonetheless, that came after a substitution. A lot of space opened up for her when number 24 Sonia Gill was subbed off uh, for the Tweezier Panthers. She was subbed off and coach Mike Mitro ended up playing small ball by some in Anna Bodner for the Panthers on that last sequence. So we'll see how this one goes going forward. And 
And now the Aiken sisters will stay on here. Aliza inbound that to Dinza. Great front court pressure there, but she finds Taya. Taya will slow that one down. She gets it off for Dinza. Dinza looking. She gets it out to Aliza. Aliza Aikens looking for some points. She gets it off for India Aikens. Aikens looking for a cut. She's quickly called up, and she gets that one out. Now it goes to Panitha. Dinza. Dinza for three, and another in and out shot there. Just an unlucky break. Now here come the Ravens. It gets brought up by Lauren Clements. Clements. Looking, she'll pull up her jumper, and that one hits the back of the rim. Big rebound, it goes back to Clemens. Clemens will try to drive, and a big foul on Panit Dinza. Dinza trying to go for the steal there, and said Clemens will draw contact. Bounded by Karis Merton for the Ravens. Merton almost got that one turned over off a quick setter. It's quickly kicked out, goes to Clemens. Clemens will load it for the three. She'll fake it, she'll take it, and she hits that one. Lauren Clemens from downtown, and that is a dagger with two minutes left in this second quarter, and that is securing this run for the Ravens. Now it goes over to Aliza, Aliza to Dinza. Dinza inside the paint there for Taya. Now kicked out to Dinza. Dinza will pull up, and that one's off the front rim. Then she tries to deflect that one back out, and it's just not working out in her favor. Now Merton will bring this one up for the Ravens. Merton drives in. She's going 1v4. She regains the rebound there. It's quickly kicked out. Instead, she keeps the ball, and that three-pointer's off. And another board for one of the Aiken sister here. 1v2. She'll take it in. She'll draw contact. She doesn't get the foul, and Lauren Clements will fly in for the rebound. And now here come the Ravens. Ravens bringing this one up. Sussex will slow down. She tries to give it back, and it's an easy steal. India Aikens with an easy layup, and she'll do exactly that, keeping this one a two-possession game here. Ravens will bring this one back up. Merton calls the play. She quickly swings it to the right corner there for Maria Mish. Maria Misich out to Taylor Matthews. Matthews out for Laura Clemens. Clemens will fake the shot. She'll go in, and she's called for a travel. Clemens with a great move, just moved her feet before she dribbled the ball there. And India Aikens will bring this one up for the Panthers. Aikens looking for some support. She gets it off to Taya Settle, back to Aikens. Now in the post there for Dahl. Dahl can't get that one up, and now the Ravens will take it back the other way. Here comes Merton, 1v2. She'll go for a quick Euro set to the side and get the nice rim off the roll there. What a play by Merton as she takes that one up for a fast break, and now Aikens will try to bring it back up as the Panthers try to counterattack. She'll quickly dodge a steal, and now she's called for a travel. Actually, hopped out of the way on that play. She did not draw contact, so that one will be called for a travel as she came back in. And now the Panthers will rest Lauren Clements. And subbing in for her, number six, Alicia Walloy. Walloy comes back on the court here. She quickly swings it over for Taylor Matthews. Matthews in the post there for Sussex. Sussex across to the paint. She goes 1v2, tries to get a roll. Now she gets her own board. She puts it back up, and she's sworn by Panthers. And now India Aikens will run up the court here. Aikens slowly bringing this one up. She'll stop up. She'll draw contact. She'll low for a three. She'll fake it. She's heavily covered by Merton. She gets it out for Subtle. Subtle for a jumper, and that's a much-needed basket for the Panthers. Pay a Subtle. Now Merton will walk this up slowly here. Ten seconds left on the clock, folks. Left for this quarter. That one's in the paint. It eludes her, and now Subtle will bring this up. There goes the Aikens. Five seconds on the clock. India Aikens go for the drive. She draws contact on there, and she takes a hard hit. And the referees did not signal for a whistle there. India a Aikens took a hard hit there. And the referees will discuss this one to see if the quarter will remain or if we'll head into halftime. to call the clock down and will not opt to de just listening in the conversation here folks the referees will not call a foul and they will head off to their locker room so they won't call a foul 
and they'll come back in here to three minutes to discuss any further plays just to see if anything will change. They'll take a look at the highlights there and to see if there's going to be any calls rolling forward. That first half of basketball brought to you by Baden Sports. Baden Sports, your basketball providers and quality basketball game and ready. Basketball provided for the 71st annual Quad A Tournament 2020 BC Secondary School Basketball Championships. You are tuned in to a very tight one, folks. 36-32 in favor of the Ravens. Ravens picking it up near the end of the second half there, securing a four-point lead heading into the second half. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Isaiah Cotton. Stay tuned for second half action coming up at the Langley Event Center.
number two. And a Bodner. Bodner finishing that one. Now back on the Ravens quickly. Myrtle tries to drive. She's quickly double teamed. Now it goes out to Laura Clemens. Clemens will kick it out again. There's a fake three point shot. It quickly goes up to the top. Back to Myrtle. It's picked off by India Aikens. Aikens coming up court one on one. She'll drive and she'll finish off that one once again. Aikens with a steal in her second layup of this quarter. Early in the game, the Panthers picking it up and they take the lead. Ravens kicking out. There's Clemens. Clemens. Looking for support, she gets a screen, but she's heavily guarded by Aliza Akins. Now she'll go for a spin, moves, hands it off for Sussex, and that bounce pass not hard enough. India Akins across for Bodner. Bodner will have to control that one. She takes it in the corner. She's quickly sworn. She swings it back up top, and it goes to Aliza. Aliza for three, and that one's just wide right there. Great rebound, and it goes back to the Panthers. She gets it into the post there, and she puts that one up, and that one bounces just wide left, and Clemens will pull down that rebound for the Ravens. Clemens. Setting up the play here, it quickly goes to Maria Mersch. And that one's kicked out, she thinks about the three. She gets it to, and there's a three pointer now, and that one's just short, that was number five. Merton, now it's quickly going up to Eliza. Eliza quickly stripped, great block there. Coming in on the backcourt defense, number six, Alicia Willoy. Panthers will set up now. Bodner to inbound the ball. She inbounds it inside the paint there, and Aikens will grab her own rebound. It's quickly kipped out to her sister. Now it goes back into the paint, and what a play. Sonia Gill coming back into the game here, making a big impact in the key. Defensively and offensively, now Merton's trying to counteract for the Ravens. Merton pulls out left, looking for support, and she gets the screen from Sussex. Now she'll drive, she'll try to roll it off, but there's no space. She kicks it out, it's that to Malloy. Malloy for three, and that one's just short once again. Aikens tries to deflect her rebound, it's deflected by Mertens. Mertens will keep it in. What a play by Mertens, now it's laid up. Quickly sent back, Sussex back up again. She can't get that one. The Ravens stay admin on that one, and Anna Maria Misch gets on that one. Now Bonner will take this one up for the Panthers. It goes to India Aiken. India looking for some space here. She tries to drive, she's quickly forced that. Now Eliza will shoot the three, and that one just rolls in and out. And now the Ravens will come back the other way. Here there comes Malloy. Malloy looking for space here. She hands it off for Maria Mish. Maria Mish outside, she gets it back, and she lays that one up. Maria Misich rolling to the bucket there. Another assist for Lauren Clemens. That's her third of the game so far. Now Bodner will bring this up for the Panthers. Bodner quickly sworn. She gives it off for Eliza Aikens. Aikens looking for some support here. She drives wide. She can't get anything off. She gives it to Taya Suttle. Suttle looking for space. She gets it down, and that one's deflected out of bounds. Pardon me, that one will not be deflected out of bounds. Ravens will get possession here. Stepping off for the Ravens. Number three, Keanu Frost. And number one, Penny Denzel will step back in for the Lord Tweezner Panthers. Ravens come back up. We're all mounted up, but once again, there's Willoy. Willoy trying to drive wide. She doesn't have support. It's one-on-one -on -one with Denzel. She'll kick it into the paint for Maria Missage. Missage back to Malloy. Malloy looking for support. She gets it off for Clemens. Clemens with the layup. Great cut to the basket once again. Clemens finishing off the post there. She is four of six in the post so far in this second half. And that one's quickly deflected away. Dinza's pass cut off. And now here comes Clemens. Clemens in the paint for... And it's quickly cut off. Great backcourt defense by Suttle. Now she'll bring that one back up for the Panthers. Now it goes to India Aikens. Aikens sets up. She'll think about the shot. She gives it back up to the top to Suttle. Suttle to Eliza Aikens. Aikens will fake the shot. She'll go back for a spin around. Goes back to Suttle. De Suttle to India. India thinking about the shot. She gets the screen. Now she'll pull up. And that one sails over and out. She had a great contest there by number five of the Ravens, Karis Merton. Now Malloy will head up with this one, Malloy. Looking for support, she gets it in for Clemens. Clemens will try to go in, great steal by Panit Dins, and now there's a fight for the ball. And Sonia Gill fighting for that one, so Panthers will get possession on that play. That one's inbounded quickly to India. 
Aliza Akins with a dangerous pass, but nonetheless, Denza is able to get it. Denza gets it out for Taya Suttle. Suttle pulls up for the jumper, and that one bounces out. Long rebound goes to India. India will put that one up. She'll draw the contact, and she'll head to the line one more time. That'll be her second and one attempt there. India Akins, great 12, proving that she has something to show for in this tournament. You're watching Quad A quarterfinals action here between the Lord Tweedsmere Panthers and the Terry Fox Ravens. And Akins will complete the three-point play. Now Merton will try to get this up for the Ravens. Merton sets up. She'll fake it and get it off to Malloy. Malloy back to Merton. Merton quickly covered up. It goes to Malloy. Malloy sets it back up here. It goes wide for Frost, and Frost draws a foul. Akins getting a little bit tough on that contact there. That'll be her first personal of the half. Malloy will take that one in for the Ravens. She's quickly guarded up. She cuts wide left, looking for a cut pass. She doesn't get it. She's heavily guarded. Goes out to Frost. Frost in the paint for Clemens. Clemens outside. There's a three, and that one's just short once again. Rebounded by the Ravens. Ravens will keep this one going. Malloy gets the rebound. She calls to the top of the key, goes to Mertens, Mertens across her Frost. Frost will load up, she'll fire, and she just misses that one. Another rebound for the Ravens, and this time she'll roll it up. Number 11, Anna Maria Mer Misich on the play once again. Now here comes Aliza, Aliza out for Dinza. Dinza thinking about the shot there, it doesn't go out well. Dinza throws it in the post now, she'll set a screen. Subtle looking for support, she gives it off for Akins. Akins quickly covered up. Akins drives in, she'll go for a hot set, gives it up for Dinza, and that one's just too hot to handle. Dinza was screaming for that ball prior to that possession. And the Ravens will catch a break there. Subbing back on for the Ravens, number 10, Emily Suxix. She'll come in for number 3, Keanu Frost. And subbing back on for the Panthers, number 2, Anna Bodner. She'll come in for number 24, Sonia Gill. And now the Ravens back with possession here. There's Malloy. Malloy trying to find space. She gives it up for... Clemens, Clemens will load and fire, and that one goes off the backboard, and Denza's there to take the easy board. Now Denza will come back for the Panthers. Denza coming up, cuts wide, right? She's looking for support. She hands it off. There's a thought for a three-point shot. Now she cuts in. She cuts in, draws the contact, and the foul. Number 12 for the Panthers. Paige Young, who started the game, didn't really have a lot of action in the first half there. And now she cuts in, gets, and she has a chance for an and one play. Now subbing in for the Ravens. She'll be coming in for Clemens, number eight. Anna Rao, Rao will make her first appearance in the game. And she misses that one there. She's able to get her own rebound. She kicks it out to Akins. Akins will go for a drive. She'll get that one up, and that one just doesn't go in. There's a rebound by Dinza, and Dinza just can't hold that one. They had a chance to make that a five-point possession there. Inbound that one to Merton. Merton pulling that one up here. She cuts right. She hands it out for Sussex. Sussex back up to Merton. Merton one on one with Dinza. Sussex tries to cut in, but that pass is quickly picked off. Now here comes Eliza Akins. Akins going in one on one. She'll put it up, draw the contact once again. And in the last three possession, folks, the Panthers were able to draw contact. They'll head to the free throw line once again. And it seems they've moved to an aggressive play here, an aggressive offensive transition play. Once again by Eliza Akins. Akins at the line for the second time tonight. And she'll hit her first. And she's loading up. And she knocks down the second. Aliza Akins going for two for two on that trip. Now it's quickly inbounded to Walloy. Walloy will set up here. Walloy goes for the drive. She loses her handle, and that one's getting knocked out of bounds. But we'll see who it's out of bounds on. And it looks like this one will be out on the Panthers. Dinza tipping that one out of bounds. Great defensive play. Rao will inbound this ball for the Ravens. They'll run a set play here. Goes to Merton. Merton for three. And what a big three that was. Karis Merton from deep. And that one knocks the game up back again. Now here comes Aliza Aikens. She'll kick it out for Subtle. Subtle back to Aikens. 
Aikens gets a screen, she'll drive, she'll go for a US step, she'll draw contact and no foul call on that one. Now Sussex will quickly get it up and back come the Ravens. Here comes Willoy, Willoy will go for a step back there, no backcourt violation. Goes back up for Willoy, Willoy on Dinza, she'll go for a crossover move, she'll go for a drive, draws contact, no call there. Sussex misses out on the rebound and Dinza will bring it back up for the Panthers. Here comes Dinza, in for Aikens, Aikens receives a great bounce pass and a great transition game once again for the Panthers. Now the Ravens moving this ball back up just as quick. Now here comes Merton. Merton sets up, she hands it off for Maria Mertz. Maria misses, sets the screen for Willoy. Willoy will slow it down and go for Missage. Missage for three, and wow, what a play by Karis Merton. Merton relieving, receiving that pass over the air from Willoy. Now Aikens will play it up for Dinza. Dinza will fake the pass here. She'll slow it up, two things it wide for Taya Suttle. Suttle with a nice drive, and she gets that one in. Back and forth basketball here. Now here come the Ravens. Merton across. Now she goes for the drive and she lays that one in. An unlucky roll on that play. And now here comes India Aikens. Aikens, great spin move. She's swarmed. Now Taya Suttle receives that pass. It goes into the post there. Here she comes with the Euro step and great play. Back to back basket. That's number 12, Paige Young. Now Merton will come back in here. Merton setting up. She hands it off quickly. Goes back up top to Willoy. Willoy. Great crossover move, she finds Merton for a three, and that one's just short. And Elisa Aikens will let that one go out of bounds, slowing down the game, stepping back in for the Ravens. Number one, Lauren Clemens. Clemens finished off a strong second quarter there. And folks, not a lot of whistles in this third quarter. Already a minute 26 left in this quarter. Now Dinza brings it back up quickly. Dinza takes contact. She'll drive in. She'll stop up. She tries to get it to Taya Settle and Settle's quickly picked off. It goes to Clemens. Clemens will run this ball back up. Lauren Clemens slows up. She'll go for a crossover move. Almost picked off. She gets it out. And there's another three ball. And that one just goes in and out. Clemens fighting for the board. She gets that one. Clemens with the third offense rebound today. Now she'll go for the fake move, and that layup just doesn't go. Now Sussex will get the rebound, and she gets that one, the hoop and the harm. Three offensive rebounds on that play, and Emily Sussex will cap that one off for the Terry Fox Ravens. Ravens heading back. This will be their second and one play here. Sussex at the line. She just can't finish that one. Unlucky roll in and out. And quick, long pass. Wow, what a reception by Lisa Aikens. Aikens will put that one up, and it just rolls out of the rim. Sussex will pull down that rebound for the Ravens, and Merton will set up the play here for the Ravens. She quickly brings it back up. Hands it off to Willoy. Willoy will cut across. Looking for support. She gets it for Clemens. Clemens will load and fire, and that one's just off wide right. Sussex fighting for the rebound there. She deflects it out of bounds, and that one will be last touch by Sussex. Taya Suttle with the challenge of holding down Sussex for the Ravens. Now it goes to Dinza, Dinza quickly to Suttle. Now it goes up to Aliza Aikens. Aikens crossover move to the middle. She quickly kicks it out wide left. Here comes Paige Young. Young going in. She'll go in for the layup, and what a finish by Paige Young once again off the drive. Now Merton will take this ball up for the Ravens. Ravens trying to come back in this one and avoid a run by the Panthers. Here comes Merton. Merton. Looking for an opening here. She gets it off for Willoy. Willoy quickly covered by Dinza. She'll go for a crossover route to the middle. And she hands it off for a three. And that one's just short. Eight seconds left on the clock. Clemens will get that one. She gets it in for Willoy. Willoy will go for a drive. She kicks it out. Goes back up for Sussex. Sussex for three. And that one's just out. And that one will not be a buzzer feeder. Great perimeter defense by the Panthers. Helps them walk out of that corner with a three-point lead. And wow. After the third quarter, still a very tight game, 55 to 52 in favor of the Panthers. Panthers battling back on that one. And this time, Coach Mike Mitro, his backcourt de defense going for a small ball, substituting out Sonia Gill early in the third quarter, putting in number two, Anna Bodner. And it seemed to have worked out as small ball has prevented the three pointers from going in for the Ravens. Nonetheless, the Ravens did have a lot of three pointers at the attempts there. They went one of six and Karis Merton with the only three-pointer hit in that corner and they continue to shoot from three. We'll see if one of these can go in here with one three-pointer able to tie this one up for the Ravens. Nonetheless, it was a great play. That third quarter was brought to you by a and A&W and Langley open 24-7. Drop on by for their new Beyond the Meat Burger and more at a and Langley. And wow, what a third quarter that was. You couldn't ask for anything better, folks.
Welcome back to fourth quarter action of Quad A Provincial Championships here. Terry Fox, we've been trailing by three, 52 to 55 in favor of the Panthers. Now Merton will drive that one in. She hoists it to the bucket and the rebound's quickly bound down by Paige Young. Young quickly up to Denza. Denza will cut in through the paint. Gives it off for India Aikens. Aikens for three and that one just rolls off the rim there. And now Malloy will grab that rebound. She'll quickly bring it up. She'll control the ball. It quickly goes off to Merton. She'll be called for a double dribble. At backcourt pressure just gets to Laloy as they had a chance for a fast break score there. Sonia Gill subbed back in as the Panthers pull back in all their starters here. It quickly goes to Aikens. Aikens takes contact and she's able to guard the ball. India Aikens looking for support here. She squares up. She goes for a crossover move. Hands it to the left side. There's Dinza and that one, that three just goes over there off the outside of the rim and that one will deflect out of bounds. Now Merton will bring this one up again, running point for the Ravens. She'll make the play call and she'll get it back up here. She gets a screen. She gives it off for Clements. Clements has to fight for that one and she draws contact off India Aikens. That'll go back to Merton. Merton up to Walloy. Walloy looking for space here. She'll call for a cross. It goes to Clemens. Clemens with time. She'll shoot the three. And she knocks that one down. And all of a sudden, the Ravens are back into this one with another three pointer by Clemens. Clemens, two of five from three so far today. Aikens will slow up. She hands it off for Young. Young with a nice crossover move to get some space. She's quickly swarmed. What a spin move. And she gets that one up there. And she'll be called for travel on the opposite side. She took three steps on that spin move there. Now Merton will come back following a three-pointer by Clements. They'll be able to take possession here and really run up the court. Merton's across for Willoy. Willoy will load it and she'll fire and back-to-back -back three-pointers for the Ravens. Malloy capping off that one. Now the Ravens back in front by three. Now quickly goes to Denza. Denza across for Young. That one's almost picked off for Merton. And all of a sudden there's life back into the feet for the Ravens falling back-to-back three-pointers. Now Anna Bodner will sub on for number one, Panit Dinza of the Lord Tweezmere Panthers. India will take this one up. She'll drive left, and she's quickly stripped by Merton. Merton fights for that rebound. It's up for grabs, and she'll secure possession there. It goes off of Aiken. Merton will end that one to Walloy. Walloy working this one up here. She gets the screen. She uses it. Tries to get it out for Clemens. And it's quickly cut up by India Aiken. Aiken going to the rack. And she's able to finish off that one with a nice roll off the rim there. Aiken brings this one back into one. Just about eight minutes left into this first quarter. Now it goes to Merton. Merton looking at the top of the key. She's got the mismatch on Danza. Danza able to force that pass off to Alloy. Alloy out to Sussex. Sussex in the paint there. Goes back to Sussex and she can't handle that one. Now Bodner across the other way. It goes for Eliza Aikens and that one's a floater down to Eliza Aikens and Aikens just can't hold that one down. Now Merton will bring this one back up for the Ravens. Merton drives wide. She has some space. She'll try to put that one up. And she'll draw contact on that foul. This will be her third trip to the line today. And subbing in for the Panthers, number 13, Taya Suttle. Suttle will come in for number 12, Paige Young. And she'll knock down her first one. Harris Merton at the line to extend this lead for the Ravens. And that's exactly what she does, folks. It's a three-point lead for the Ravens now. And subbing in number one, Panit Denza. And she'll go on for number 11, India Aikens. Interesting call here from the coaches, Denza. 
Hands it off for Eliza Akins. Akins now down to Denza. Denza back to Akins, and Akins will take this one out for She'll slow it down, and they'll reset. Akins in the paint. There it goes. Nice pass, and she'll draw the foul on that contact. Sonia Gill drawing contact on that one. She'll head back to the line here. Both teams, it seems like it's look. It's like looking in the mirror at these two teams playing, folks. Merton's able to draw contact in the layup. And now same thing for Sonia Gill. And that one goes wide left. Panthers still trailing by three. Nonetheless, in this fourth quarter, the way it is, every point matters. We'll see if she can get the second one here, and that's exactly what she does. Now they're only trailing by two. Merton to bring this one back up for the Ravens. Merton gets it back up here. Two swings it ride white. Out to Clemens. Clemens will fake the three. She'll pull up for a jumper now, and a big rebound there. Great play by Clemens after shooting a, thre a three-pointer in her last possession. She now fakes that one, goes for a jumper, and now Aliza hands that out for Dinza. Dinza will pull up for a three, and that one just rolls off the rim. That would have been a big one there. Now Clemens will haul down the rebound, and she'll come back the other side. Clemens bringing this one up. She hands it up for Maria Misic. Misic goes for the fake. She'll drive. She'll go for a Euro step there, and that one's just off the board. Donda will hold that one down, and now here comes Aiken. Aiken up for Bodner. Bodner will have to hold that one down, and that's exactly what she does. Bodner looking for support here. Bodner looking. She gives it up for Eliza Aikens. Aikens into Dinza. Dinza will run the court there. She's looking for support. She gets it off for Bodner, and that one's quickly picked off by Willoy. Willoy will bring this one up now. Willoy coming in, 1v2, she gives it off for Clemens. Clemens will hoist that one up off the backboard, unlucky roll there. Donza will secure the rebound. Taya Suttle will clean that one up, and that one goes to Eliza Akins. Akins quickly to Dinza. Dinza looking for support. She goes for a crossover move. She'll get it off for Donza. Great play by Dinza. Wow, what a pass and what vision by Panit Dinza. Sonia Gill will finish off that one. Now here comes Merton. Merton up to Willoy. Willoy looking for support. She's trying to find a screen. She finds space. And that one's quickly picked off. Now Dinza maneuvers her way through two Ravens. She's taking off to the back. It's great back check for um, Clemens. And it's not enough for Panit Dinza. Dinza with a bucket and assist in her last two possessions. And we're back to where we started once again, folks. 62-62. Merton bringing this one back up. She'll take it all on her own. She's quickly swatted back by Gill. But then Clemens following up on that one. Now Gill trying to hold down the rebound. But Eliza Aiken will come up for that one, and she is fouled, I believe. Subbing in for the Ravens now, number 12, Taylor Matthews, and number 3, Kiana Frost. Timeout called by the Lord Tweedsware. Pardon me, that'll be called for the Terry Fox Ravens. Pardon me, there was a little bit of miscommunication at the scoreboard here. That timeout will be called by the Panthers. And once again, folks, both teams proving that they are in the top tier for a reason. The Quad A 71st Annual 2020 BC Secondary Basketball Championships here at the Langley Event Center. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator, Isaiah Khan. And wow, has this been an entertaining game. This quarterfinals here, folks. It's not like any regular professional playoff format. It's not a wild card game. It's not a World Series. It's not a playoff series. It is win it all or go home. And so that one will be the deal for both these teams here. We'll see if the Panthers will go back with their starters. And he'll actually opt to keep India Aikens on the bench. Aliza Aikens, however, will be on the court here. It goes to Aliza Aikens. Aikens makes the move. She cuts through two. What a move there. She'll slow it up. What a pass to Gill. Gill just can't handle that one. And now back come the Ravens. Ravens bringing it up the court here. Here she comes. She's looking for support. She gives it up to Aloy. And that one's almost picked off. Aloy will save that ball. Never mind. It'll go to Bodner. Bodner up front for Aikens. Aikens with time. And she hoists that one in. Aloy will inbound that one there. Aloy. Looking for support. She'll set up the play. She has it up for Merton. Merton thinking about the three. Instead, she'll fake it. She'll cut in. She'll go for the layup, and that one's just off there. Now Denza pulled down that one. Denza coming up the court here. She hands it off for Eliza Aikens. Aikens stops. She loads it off for Gill, and Gill's quickly fouled on the play. And we'll see 
if that'll be the third or fourth foul. We'll just wait for the scoreboard to get the results in here. That'll be their third foul, folks. So the Ravens with three fouls overall in this half. Two more fouls would possibly put them in the bonus, meaning any more fouls after five would send the Panthers to the free throw line. So they don't have a lot to give up here. Panthers up by two, looking to extend that lead. There's a screen, it goes out to Bodner. Bodner with three, and what a big bucket from the Panthers. Now one's a momentum shaker there, now leading by five. Ravens trying to salvage this one here. She gets it off for Taylor. Taylor back up to Merton. Merton quickly covered. That one goes to Malloy. Now to Taylor. Taylor will fake the three. Hit off for Frost. Frost is answered back, and that's exactly what she does. It's a gunslinging contest here at the Langley Event Center. Now Dinza trying to carry this one back up, and she gets called for a double dribble as she loses her handle on that one, and it looks like the three-point momentum will keep the Ravens going. Now stepping back on for the Ravens. Number one who started the game as well, Lauren Clemens. She'll come on for number 12, Taylor Matthews. And Merton will take this one up here. She'll look to set up. Merton, great bounce pass. What a play to Clements, and that one just bounces off. And Gill will secure that one. She gives it off for Dinza. Dinza will slow it down. She hands it off for Elisa Aiken. Aiken, wide out for Bodner. Bodner will lick. She'll load. She'll fire. And that one goes in. Back-to-back -back three pointers for Bodner. And wow, this one just got more electrifying, folks. Now back comes Willoy. Willoy to Clements. Clements. Looking for some support, she gets it back to Malloy. Malloy fakes it, she'll take it up, and she'll finish that one, folks. Hot hands on both sides here. And now it goes to Eliza Akins. Akins putting on the move, she'll drive, she'll put up that one, and that one's just off Gill, trying to secure the rebound, and we'll see who gets possession on that play. And even though Gill arguing she had two hands on the ball. Nonetheless, she hopped into Clemens, calling a contact pushing foul there. Now Dinza will sub off, coming on for Dinza. Will be India Aiken. Walloy will push this one up for the Ravens. Ravens looking to strike back here. She gives it off for Clemens. Clemens hand handed that one. Great play by Bodner. Bodner slows up. She'll throw it up, and no one's there to receive that one. Now Merton will take this back up for the Ravens. Merton cuts wide. She's looking for space. She's looking for support. She hands it up for Maria Missage. Missage with the turnover there. India Aiken taking the one. This one and great play for Aiken. And she just can't finish that one. Unlucky break there. And now back comes Valoy for the Ravens. She clicks it out for Clement. Clement will slow up. She's quickly swarmed. She gets it out for Merton. Merton will load. She'll fire. And that one's just short. And that deflected back to Taya Subtle. Subtle back to India Aiken. Aiken looking for support. She gets it in. Back to Aikens, and Aikens has no problem finishing that one as well. The Panthers lead by five. What a play there. Malloy will give it back up to Merton. Merton looking for an opening here. Gets off for Clemens. Clemens thinking about the three. She'll go for the pump fake. Now she'll float it in off the front of the rim there. And that one bounces to Eliza Aiken. Aiken trying to throw the pass there, and she draws contact. She draws a foul. And that'll be the fifth foul, I believe, on the Ravens pushing them to the bonus if they foul again. Pardon me, that'll be the fourth foul. India will inbound that one to Eliza. Eliza hands that one off to Bodner. Bodner putting on the move, trying to get space. She hands it back off to Eliza. Eliza looking for space there. She gets it off for Taya. Subtle, Subtle can't handle that one, but she's able to recover. Subtle looking for space. She gets it to India. India makes a move. She'll drive. She'll go with the Euro step there, and that one just doesn't go in. And Merton takes this one back up. Merton waiting. She'll cut across, and she'll slow down as she's worn by three Panthers. Merton looking for some help. She gets a screen. She gets it up for Malloy. Malloy with space. She'll shoot this one, and that one rattles in and out. And that one goes up to Maria Missage. Missage now will go for the drive. She'll drive under the baseline, and she'll draw contact there. She'll go up for two shots, and these two shots will be very crucial as we enter the last two minutes of the fourth quarter, folks. And that'll actually be five fouls on the Panthers now. Looks like 
Donza might be fouled out of the game. Not happy with the referee's call there, and the Ravens will call a timeout. Sonia Gill getting the foul out call from, from the referee there. Timeout for the Ravens. They'll have two timeouts left in the fourth quarter. We're entering the last two minutes, folks. The Ravens trail this one 67 to 72. Panthers holding on to a big lead. Once again, folks, go win or go home. Quarterfinal action here at the Quad A 2020 BC Girls Secondary Basketball Championships at the Langley Event Center. And wow, is this electrifying. And this timeout is brought to you by McDonald's. McDonald's, spice, try their new spicy habanero chicken sandwich today at any local McDonald's near you. And boy, is this a heater. 72 to 67 for the Panthers. And there's, you just can't write a story like this, folks. India and Elisa Aiken doing great backcourt work. That one, two, and three position for the Panthers, Panit Denza. India and Eliza Aikens really coming up big, but the miracle story here, Anna Bodner knocking down two crucial three-pointers to put them up by five. And now Maria Misic. Misic will shoot two at the line here. The Tweedsmere fan base very much loud. And Misic will miss the first one. Nonetheless, Every point is crucial in this quarter. She lines up for her second shot. And she'll knock down the second, bringing this one within four. Still a two-possession game here. And Aliza Aiken will bring this one up. Aiken hands it up for Taya Settle. Back to Aliza Aiken. Aliza looking for support. She gets the screen by Paige Young. Now she'll cut the other way. She'll hoist that one at the bucket. And great rebound by Sussex. Sussex gets that one. To Clements. Clements works it up quickly to Maria Misic. Misic looking for help there. She gets it in for Sussex. Sussex going for a drive. She'll get the hook and the foul. What a play there by Sussex. And this has just brought life back to the Ravens. Back to back trips to the line. And this bucket, if she makes the end one play, will put them within one. And she can't knock down that one. Nonetheless, there's still, it's still a one possession game here. Now only trailing by two. Now India Aiken will take this one up here. India looking for support. She's quickly defended by Walloy. Now she gives it off to her sister, Aliza. Aliza trying to find some space here. She gives it back to India. India gets a screen by Young, and that one bounces out there. Looking for a foul, but Paul not by biting on that one. So the Ravens with a chance now to tie it with a minute 17 left. Now it's brought up by the Ribbons. Quickly brought out to Clemens. Clemens in for Sussex. Back out to Clemens. Clemens will load and fire. And that one's hit. Sees her foot was on the line. That'll be a two-pointer. But nonetheless, it'll tie the game up here for the Ravens. Back up quickly is Aikens. Aikens quickly fouled there. And that'll allow her to reset over the half-court line. And that will actually put the Ravens in the bonus. So now any foul that the Ravens commit, it'll automatically lead to the free throw line. And India Aiken's a great free throw shooter as she knocks down the first one. And Aikens can't hit the second one there. And that one's tipped out. It'll be Panthers looking for a call there. And they won't get it on that one. Now Karis Merton will take this one up once again, running points. She's being in for a chunk of minutes here for the Ravens. Merton looking up, trying to find some space here. She'll try to give it off. Now Missage will move out to get some space. She's quickly doubled. Missage in for Sussex. Sussex kicks it out for Willoy. Willoy for three, and that one drains in. What a huge bucket. And Mortis will, Coach Mortis will call a timeout for the Panthers on the next whistle. Now goes to Bodner. Bodner 
brings this one up for the Panthers, and she tries to tip it back. It's kept in, and what a play. It gets sent back to Walloy. Walloy brings this one back up for the Ravens. It goes to Mer Merton. Merton looking for space there. She gets it for Clemens. Clemens for three, and that one's just off. Great rebound. It goes back up for Walloy. Walloy will put it back up, and that one's off. Just about 17 seconds left here. No fouls committed. It goes quickly up for Subtle. Subtle can't get that one, and Merton will take it back up the court. Ten seconds left on the clock. They won't off the foul, and this time they will off the foul. And now Panthers in the bonus here, but that'll be a good thing for them as they'll have a chance to slow down the clock. Two very important free throws here coming up following this timeout. It's electrifying action. Back and forth they go. And you wouldn't expect this one. Great. You know what? I will say one thing. The coaches, you don't see this often in high school basketball, but both the Ravens and the Panthers giving the green light for their shooters. Nonetheless, the Panthers moving away from the three-point line after Bodner's two made three points and penetrating the paint. And it did seem to work well, but now the perimeter defense is looking to step up here. Two back-to-back -back three pointers for the Ravens. Got them back into this game. Now leading by two as the Panthers try to claw back into this one. We'll see what happens following the timeout here. This timeout is brought to you by Triple O's Burgers by Wise Spot. Triple O's. Did you know they cater to events too? Catering here at this tournament as well. Just follow the hashtag on Instagram and Twitter on the go truck to learn more. And this one here is going to be a real nail better. And the clock has been reset. There's eight seconds on the clock. Two very important free throws here. Karis Merton at the line. And she'll hit the first one up by three and she can make this a two possession game and she misses on that one Aiken will hold that one down five seconds left on the clock now they need a three-pointer tie it four seconds of the clock it goes to Aliza Aliza will drive instead she'll hoist that one up and that one's short and what a game what a finish for Terry Fox and Terry Fox will advance in this tournament, sending the Panthers home with their heads down. But nonetheless, it was a great effort. And once again, folks, you don't see this often in high school basketball tournaments, but all players getting the green light from three, and they'll win this one. Terry Fox Ravens advancing in their division, now moving up in the tournament ladder. I'm your play-by-play -play commentator at this event. My name is Isaiah Khan, and you're watching Langley Event Center Basketball here live. Stay tuned for more action coming up in under 15 minutes.